Welcome to this episode of On Photography. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of unboxing of this uh, EYOYO monitor. Hey, they sell care, so it's got to be good, right? So I picked this up for my shop studio, and I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought this was a real interesting find. So I'm going to go ahead, open it up, take it out of the box. So nice four-colored printed box. Uh, very well packed. It's a TFT color LCD monitor as you can see here. So we've got the monitor on this side and we have the extra packing stuff and cables uh, on this side. So let's go ahead and pull this out and uh, it comes nicely packed. we got the little gel packs and take it out and woo pretty. So uh, this is an 8 inch model and I think this is a, if I remember right 1080p unit. But one of the pieces that I really liked about it is the multiple inputs. So it has VGA input, HDMI input, regular analog input, and BNC input. It's also got 5 volts out for a USB charger. So I can be charging a cell phone or a, you know, a USB camera while using the monitor with it. It also has this typical slide mount uh, here. Now get into the mountings in a minute. It's got the speakers and it's got the version mounts here. So pretty versatile. Also pretty lightweight. It's got a screen protector on it. It is not a touch sensitive screen. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's see what else is in here. And so this uh, pops out and we have the obligatory um, charger. It is nice that it's a U.S. charger, not a European adapted to U.S. charger, so native U.S. charger. So it's got the plugs and it is a 12 volt 2 amp charger. So that's the other thing with this is I can use this in the field um, with a 12 volt power source. And if you look back, I did a review on a USB to 12 volt uh, adapter, which I'm hoping to also use it for. Uh, but I'm going to set this aside yeah, I'm going to take this out. It's got a pad for the mount. I'm going to talk about the mount. Let me adjust all this stuff. So it also comes with a mount because you can mount this in a car or wherever. Um, so it's got a standard mount and it's got, see, it's got this little uh, slider here that mounts in the back. And you can also adapt this, I think, a little bit. Um, I'm going to 3D print some adapters to mount this to a quarter 20 tripod. So again, what happens is this slides in the bottom. I don't know if you can see this here. If I don't pop it off, which it did. Um, but hey, that's live TV, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back on a little bit. And then try sliding this back on, doing this once again. There we go. I think we got it. And we'll tighten this up now. And uh, one of the things, it doesn't sit very low. Let's see. Maybe I can get it to sit a little bit lower. Um, so we'll get, see if we can get it to sit at the very bottom. And then we'll see if we can't get this. So this sits, I think as you can see, so it's at the very bottom and it sits on that. Yeah, so it sits like that. That's okay. Uh, and then this pad sticks to the bottom and it's actually double sided so you could stick it to something like a dash or that. I, I'm not going to do that for the time being, sorry for about bumping you around. So let's go ahead, let's get this, uh, I want to plug this in and fire this up and show you guys how this works. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're back. I've got it hooked up to the eye and uh, through the micro HDMI, mini or micro and into the full-size HDMI into the unit. And as you can see, it can see what the, um, the I see. So this is one of the reasons I got it, is I want to set this up actually uh, for sort of a staging monitor here in the shop. And also a little bit into the field so I can line up my shots a little bit better with the action cams and that. Um, one of the things that you have to watch a little bit, I had a little bit of an issue because the uh, this... Um, Amazon cable has a large outer, I don't know what you want to call it, piece of plastic, and it hits against the die-eye cable. So I was thinking I was having problems with this unit, but really it was the connector wasn't going all the way in. And as you can see, it's it's working just fine here. So uh, with the menu settings, there's you know several different menu settings you can go through and you can toggle using the uh, AV12 buttons. And this is how you also change the uh, the different settings for the BNC, for the HDMI, for the analog, etc. 
uh, through this. So pretty nice little setup. So for well sub on under 100 bucks, I really like the flexibility of this because I've got a number of inputs. You can also use this as a second screen on a laptop. Uh, which I also find interesting. So if I'm editing in the field that I do sometimes, I can plug this in as an HDMI into my laptop, uh, use this as a second display for watching the video while I'm editing the video on the main laptop screen. So a lot of, you know, nice flexibility with the unit for a very, very cheap price. Also, the unit is very lightweight. Uh, it does work off 12 volts, as I mentioned, 2 amps. So very nice little setup. So if you're looking for to add a monitor to your video rig for your YouTube activity, you know, you're doing stuff in a shop, you want to record it, or you're doing some light studio settings. I think this is really a good option. Um, you know, also in the shop, I use different cameras, so I think this is really good. Also, with the VGA input, I can use this on, on different things, and if I have to, I can use it as a makeshift monitor. So, anyways, hopefully you find it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, because this is an interesting uh, little device here for the money. You can't beat it, and hey, let me know in the comments what you're thinking below, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we review something else. Cheers.